Good morning, folks. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Ontario. And it's even more beautiful because we're at the camp. Last night, we packed up the truck, <clears throat> loaded up our little buggy here, and we headed north. Our camp's about an hour and a half drive north of our farm. And here we are. Ah, oh, and it's so beautiful. See one group of fishermen go north, up to the next lake, and uh, one guy fishing for bass out in front. There's just a little hint of a breeze. The birds are singing. And you can probably hear that there's a slasher working, oh, about half a mile that way. In May, we had a terrible windstorm here, and it blew down thousands of acres of timber. It broke off mature pine like matchsticks. Of course, blew over balsam and spruce and basswood and poplar. Even snapped off some maple. It was wild. We were actually here through it. Thankfully, our camp didn't, we didn't have any damage. We did have a tree from the neighbor fall down and hit one of our sheds that I have to replace some steel in the roof. It didn't break the trusses I built, but uh, it did puncture the steel. Well, today, folks, we're going to install mirrors on our buggy. And I had quite a decision to make. Wow, if you Google these crazy things, there are many to see. Do I go with a center automotive type rear view mirror up here, or do I put side view mirrors? And having driven a truck a lot of my life, a big truck especially, I wanted to go with side view mirrors. So I settled on these, I think they're called Kemimoto. They were $29.99 on Amazon. And actually they're quite well built. There's just a plastic bracket that bolts on, the rollover protection, the ROPS canopy here, and the mirror is adjustable. It couldn't be much more simple. So I'm going to attach these and then my wife and I are going to head out for a ride in the trails. Let's get out to work and get these attached. Even though this kit was one of the cheapest ones I found on the market, I really like it actually. It comes with two different sizes of clamps. It comes with rubber spacers to go between the clamps to hold them to the ROPS canopy. These mirrors are breakaway if you hit something. And the only tools you need to put them on are 10 mil socket, a couple of Allen keys, and of course my trusty jackknife. Well, let's go slip this on and we'll slide the mirror in place. I really like these clamps. Let's put the mirror in place and put some fasteners on. I couldn't think of a better place to work. I hope you heard that raven. It's right over there. Earlier I was serenaded by a pileated woodpecker, some blue jays, a phoebe, there he goes again, and Whitey the squirrel was pestering me for peanuts. It really couldn't be much nicer, could it? This has been quite a year. We normally don't get to feed many red squirrels. A few years ago we had one that was tame. This year, my little buddy Red here, or little Whitey, affectionately known as Whitey because of the white tip of his tail. He's not shy at all. Hey bud, come on. <laughs> See you bud. <laughs> the blue jays are a little more shy. They won't come in and land on our hand to take a peanut. A gray jay will. But the Blue Jays will come in and talk to us, say good morning, and gladly take a peanut. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Raven. I don't think that could be any better. Ah, really like that. Okay, I'm going to snug the fasteners up, and then I'll go wash, rinse, and repeat, and do the other side. Ah, the peace and tranquility of this place is just incredible. I am so blessed. I couldn't think of a more wonderful place for this little project. Well, folks, I'm really happy with these mirrors that I paid $29.99 for off of Amazon. All that's left for me to do now is to pull this protective coating off the mirrors, 
load my wife in the buggy and lunch and head out for a ride. I hope you've enjoyed this video folks. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again. Have a nice day.